Now for the night team, an East Valley community is saying goodbye to a beloved coach and father of five. James Rubio died suddenly from complications of pneumonia. Coach Rubio was only 45 years old. Tonight, Team 12's Nicole Zymek joins us with a touching tribute and more on the legacy Rubio left behind. Nicole? Yeah, Caribe and Mark, throughout his 10 years coaching, James Rubio made an impact on thousands of children and teens. When you look at his life, you start to believe that one man really can make a difference. It was just the brightest light and just shine through his eyes. I mean, it just, it just had this beautiful glow and twinkle in his eyes and in his smile. And it was, it was just so powerful. James Rubio always put people first. He was the guy that gave you the shirt off his back. My dad was the best because he was always there for me. The biggest source of his gratitude was people. That's where he found his gratitude, just from a smile, a laugh. He had a gift of making people feel they mattered. I look around this room and I realize I felt like I had a special and unique relationship with James. <laughs> And every one of you have the same one. And that says a heck of a lot about a person. As a little league coach, James was a mentor, father figure, and coach to thousands throughout the years. He always knew uh, you know, how to make it better. He, you know, he's one of those coaches that you, you would love to play for and that you want to win for. Some of his newest players paying tribute, wearing their jerseys in solidarity. It's just a beautiful thing to see how many people he's impacted in such a wonderful way with something that was just so simple to him. He just touched so many people. I'm just now realizing how many people that he touched. Perhaps it's in death where you can truly grasp the impact his life made. You know, how do you measure the life of a man? Sometimes that measure is the wake you leave behind you. And James was his wake was vast, it was wide, and it was all-encompassing. James leaves behind his wife and five children. Funeral services are scheduled for tomorrow morning. We're live in Studio 12A. Nicole Zymek, 12 News at 10.